This video is going to show how to drive relays with the Arduino. I'm using a relay to control a doorbell. The relay is wired in just like a doorbell button. Here's my doorbell. Here is the push button that's regular, wired into the transformer and the doorbell. And here is the relay, the blue. When the Arduino sends 5 volts to the relay, then the switch is closed, just like pushing the doorbell button. I found a schematic on the Arduino site that showed how to make the relay circuit. I'll put the link in the video notes. The relay I chose was from a Hobby Robotics article, and I'll add a link to that. So first I connected the Arduino ground to my breadboard ground rail. That's right here to the blue rail, which is ground. Connect the Arduino 5 volts to the breadboard power rail, white to the red power rail. Connect the 2N2222 transistor with the collector lead connected to the relay. It's the red wire going to the relay. And there is a 1N4004 diode connected to the power rail to protect the Arduino from getting damaged if there is a surge. That's right here. The base lead to the Arduino digital pin 3 through a 1K resistor. Here's the resistor. Here is the uh, Arduino 3. And the emitter lead to ground. And that is the black wire back here. The other Arduino relay lead is connected to the power rail. There's a red wire back here. Try to get a little better look there. That's yeah, hard to see. You can see it there. And I just have a couple jumper wires here because um, the breadboard power rail doesn't continue the whole way. So you can also see. Sorry, I don't want to mess up these wires. The uh, black wire that's the transmitter ground, and it's a little bit better there. Yeah, okay. Now, the connection to the doorbell is with one relay lead connected to the solenoid and the other lead connected to the transformer. The doorbell instructions showed me how to hook these up. So here's the two wires, and one's going to the solenoid and the other one's going to the transformer. Since my doorbell's transformer has bumped down the 120 volts alternating current to around 20 volts alternating current, I can put the relay on the breadboard. A breadboard can handle about 50 volts max, so if you're powering something more powerful, you should solder the relays to the wires. I've made two relay circuits. One relay connects to solenoid 1, controlled by Arduino pin 3, and the other relay circuit connects to solenoid 2, which is controlled by Arduino pin 2. So there's the other one, and you can see green and yellow, those are connected to 2 and 3. And I have them all on the, uh, there's one this is one chime, and this is the other chime. And uh, this would be like the front doorbell and the back doorbell, and that's what connects to the transformer. The Arduino code lets me fire off high or low signals by listening for key press events through the serial monitor. So now I've got it powered up. The Arduino is powered up, and I've plugged in my doorbell. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just press the regular doorbell button, and here I'm going to push that. Okay, and 
and it should go. See? You can see the solenoid move. So I'm going to power my solenoids this time. Well, let me turn it on here. So I'm going to press my event. So the close up is. Now I have two different uh, pins controlling this, so you'll see both of those solenoids go when I do it this time. See, I did that. So pin three was doing the one on the bottom, and pin two did the one on the top. Pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching.